is going on. Now, today is going to be something different, all right? So today is going to be something about eating healthy and being healthy on the road. So, this video, like I said, we got to be healthy, right? So, um, I went to the doctor a couple weeks ago, and they uh, he actually told me that I had bad cholesterol and bad what? Um, your glucose is a couple points away from being pre-diabetic. Crap. So... Gotta stop drinking Coke. I'm a big, I love Coke and Red Bull. So, yes, I gotta stop drinking that. So, I've already started. I've been a couple weeks already. I've been where I've been drinking a lot of Coke. I only drink Coke in the, at home. All right, the so. The goal is to eliminate it all together. I'm gonna try to see if I could just stop drinking Coke, but. I'll try. So. She's been on a eating healthy habit thing. What, are, what do you call it? Low carb. She's been on a low carb. So, low carb. And apparently this is what I have to do for six months. Well, actually, now I have to do this forever to get that cholesterol down. Because, you know, uh, the doctor's going to end up putting me in a pill uh, that I'm going to have to take for life. And that pill kind of sucks because if you get rid of that pill... You know, if your cholesterol starts getting better and you just try to, you know, um, try to stop taking that pill, it, you could have a heart attack. Because um, apparently something that pill has to do with, you know, your blood and, and whatever. I, I don't really know about it, but something like that. My aunt told me about that, that it's really dangerous so to get out of that pill. And so that's why I'm going to start eating healthy. And, you know, and, and I got to look good. You know what I'm saying? You got to look good. So. <laughs> what you guys laughing about? Yeah. So, let's get on with this video. She's going to be doing, uh, let's see. What are you going to be doing? Salmon, chicken wings, and I think I'm going to make the pizza crust for dinner tonight. All in this video. So I've already prepped the salmon. So washed it, patted it dry. I put it on a baking sheet with some aluminum foil and just some nonstick cooking spray. And I put some little bit of Himalayan pink salt, a little bit of lemon pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. And I'm gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna add some, just a little bit probably about a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce on it, but we'll show you that as it gets close. Bingo. All right, so that's a salmon. Um, yeah. Explain a little bit what it has. I already did, so we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she got it on that. <laughs> I'll work on the chicken wings while all that bakes. So you have a, I'm gonna use an air fryer bake them. I, I've done it in the oven before. But I'm going to try it in the air fryer and see if I can get them crispier than I would in the oven. We also do this in the grill. The grill is, tastes really good in the grill. Did we do it in the grill before? Yeah, I did it in the grill. Okay. So I have a recipe that I use um, and I've done it in a bowl before, but I like to do it, mix it all in a bag because I think it coats it really nicely. So... We're gonna coat the chicken first. So baking powder. Salt. Pepper. Garlic powder. <clears throat> now how much are you putting in? So it was a tablespoon of baking powder. It was a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, 
can use a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. And we're gonna close the bag up and we're just gonna mix it. Just so that it's all mixed before the chicken goes in. Normally I get a larger bag of chicken wings. However, I'm just making it for Axel to go on the road. So I only got, I have this organic pack. It's only a pound of, it's got chicken wings and the legs. So it's a smaller, the recipe calls for um, three pounds of chicken wings, but I'm just gonna make a smaller portion today. Now make sure it's organic. So I'm gonna put the chicken wings and legs in the bag. I'm just washing my hands again because I touched the chicken and I don't want to touch the bag with my hands that touch the chicken. Okay, you just close the bag and then you're just gonna take it. And you're gonna coat the chicken. This mixture is gonna help crisp up the chicken when you cook it. Okay, we're gonna spray the bottom of the air fryer's tray with a little bit of non-sticking spray. Doesn't need to be a lot, just to coat it so that they don't stick. And then we're gonna put the chicken in. We're gonna line it. You want it to be one single layer, so if you do have more than just a pound of chicken, you're probably gonna end up doing a couple batches or you might have a bigger air fryer at home. And this is the first time that we're using the air fryer for this type of chicken. So we'll see how it turns out. Axel can let you know after he eats it this week. I'm just going to spray the chicken just on top, just a little bit, just to Give it like a little bit of moist and pop it in. And we're gonna start it up. And you wanna come around so you can see the front. So it, our air fryer has different settings on the front. We're gonna go to air fry. We're gonna cook it on 400 um, for, this setting is 18 minutes. So we'll see what it looks like halfway through. We'll flip it over and then um, We'll see if it needs some extra time. Okay, so we're gonna make our hot sauce. This I just cut up, it's four tablespoons of butter, so we're gonna melt this. Start with 30 seconds. So once the butter's melted, we're gonna add a half a cup of hot sauce, or I use a buffalo wing sauce, um, whatever brand you guys prefer you can use. And then you actually use a tablespoon of honey. Sweetens it up just a little bit. Okay, so there's our melted butter. We're gonna do a half a cup of our sauce. Now show that sauce, that is one freaking delicious sauce. This is really good. So this is a Stop and Shop brand um, sauce and- Well, you guys sell it too, right? Is that the one you guys sell? No. Oh no? No, this is the actual, like, I got it at Stop and Shop, and I like their brand of the buffalo wing sauce, so that's what I get. Um, this stuff I had, by the way, I've been trying to buy things, like be more aware of the ingredients and the products that I'm buying. And so, um, starting this week, yesterday, when I went shopping, I was very conscious about the products I was buying and then the actual ingredients in it, trying to limit the actual ingredients. So this, this actually has quite a bit of ingredients in it that, you know, again, I had this around, but um, if you're trying to do like really clean, 
that's kind of my goal is to move to like buying products that have minimal ingredients in it and like knowing the ingredients we're putting in our bodies. All right, so I'm gonna pour the hot sauce into the butter. How much butter did you put? It's four tablespoons of melted butter. Okay. A half a cup of hot sauce, and then it's gonna be a tablespoon of the honey. Now, how can we do it a little more spicy? Um, well, it's gonna be pretty spicy, but to spice it up even more, um, you can probably add a spice, like a, a cayenne pepper spice or like red pepper flake. Yeah. Or you can get a hot sauce that's like hot. They sell these hot. I like the medium. Oh, they, that's right. They do. They sell one that's really They sell one that's hot. even hotter. It's really I good. Just grab some over here. I'll come back around. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There you go. So that's actually the same sauce that we're gonna use in our buffalo chicken pizza tonight. Okay. That we're gonna make we're gonna make the crust for. So this is the same sauce that we're gonna be using for our buffalo chicken pizza tonight. That after I'm done with this, we're gonna move on to the crust of the buffalo chicken pizza that we're gonna to eat tonight for dinner. So ever since I started going low carb, I've had to come I've had to find recipes that I can eat. You know, I can't have regular crackers, tortilla chips, or bread anymore. So I found recipes um, that are low carb that I can actually eat. So the pizza recipe, and since Axel, Axel needs to start watching his carbs and sugars, I want him to try the pizza crust, the low carb pizza crust that I've made a couple times now um, to see what he thinks, if he can really tell the difference. All right, so this, uh this low carb uh, pizza that she's making, that she's gonna make tonight, it's, uh, it's actually has a, a lot of really good ingre ingredients, ingredients that we supposed to have. So changing my diet uh, completely is gonna be kind of difficult. So she's actually trying to make something that I would like, that I would get on the streets, you know, um, but in a better, healthier way. Like the low carb, the the what do you call it the crust is actually made by what flour so it's not regular flour it's almond flour base and then um cheese and it's got um a couple tablespoons of a plain greek yogurt and an egg they do have other recipes out there like if you're vegan or you don't have dairy they have some recipes out there that are low carb without the cheese in it or the egg um that I actually have a recipe for that I will, I'm gonna try at some point. This is the sauce that, that goes on the chicken. And actually, even just working with it, my nose is running because of the hot, the hot sauce. It's spicy. <laughs> it is, it's got a little kick to it. All right, so the air fryer actually beeped at me telling me that it was halfway done with the setting. So we're gonna open it up and we're actually gonna turn it. So that's what it looks like after nine minutes. Mm. Yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna take my tongs and I'm just gonna flip them over. Now, even though it has this tray at the bottom, it, it, it's supposed to, you know, cook evenly around all of them, but I still like to turn my food or shake it or whatever you wanna do in your air fryer. And again, this might need more time. We'll have to check it and see. And also it'll depend on like how crispy he wants it or you want it at home. All right. Hold on. So, all right, so then why did I want the hot wings? She just said, all right, we want to try to not eat at truck stops, right? So the food that, that's in truck stops, that's actually what killed me. What killed me was going into Denny's um, I was eating way too much and you know how I like to spoil my trainees I buy them food all the time so when I buy them food of course I gotta eat right so one thing is that we used to eat a lot of Denny's and it was Denny's a lot a lot of Denny's and Denny's of course especially what I get you know the skillet they fill that skillet with freaking oils and it's nasty, and it's it's about a heart attack to happen, you know? 
So, uh, so that's why we tried to change this. All right, and well, it wasn't just the Denny's. This is years of eating bad food, being a trucker for almost five years now, and the other thing is going into places without choosing the healthier option. So, plus you're not as young as you used to be, and what they say when I'm like twenty one. <laughs> You feel like you're 21, but your body is not 21 anymore. And when your body passes a certain age, i.e. 40, this sort of thing starts to happen. So our salmon's done, like pretty much done. So you can bring the camera over and show them what it looks like. I'm going to add the teriyaki, throw it back in for just a little bit, and then um, that'll be ready. All right, let's check the salmon out and let's see how it looks. Yeah. I have this sauce. I actually have a recipe that I've done my own homemade teriyaki sauce, which I will do once this bottle is gone. I really don't like throwing food away. So I'm going to finish it up and then um, I'll start making my own again. So this actually salmon teriyaki tastes really freaking good. Yeah, I usually eat it weekly, but this week I'm going to make it with um, a lemon butter sauce. Um, so not only, like when I have this myself for the teriyaki uh, salmon that I eat, I have to be careful because every tablespoon of teriyaki is five grams of sugar, which is high for somebody who's watching their carbs, um, which is exactly why I use this brush that I have here so that I can actually know what I'm, what, how much I'm using and brushing onto the salmon because you just want it as like a little flavor. That's gonna go back in for just a couple more minutes. So, we're gonna take a short break and we're gonna come back. Back to commercials. <laughs> there are no commercials. <laughs> One hour later, many months later, later. Okay guys, so um, the chicken is almost done. This was 18 minutes and it looks pretty good. Um, Axel wants it a little bit crispier, so I'm gonna just throw it back in for a couple more minutes before we toss it with the sauce. The chicken wings are delicious at truck stops. I don't know if I can say that I agree with him on that because once he tries these, he is never gonna go back to eating those ever again. All right, so I'm, I've got my bowl here and I'm gonna pour the chicken into the bowl. It's kind of a big bowl, but I wanna make sure I, I can coat the chicken really nicely. And then, do you want to pour that in there? Yeah. Yep. Pour it all in there. Like in the circle? Just pour it. Just like that. Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's good. And then that can go in the sink. And we're just going to mix the chicken in the sauce. So this actually, the sauce that I made, it made, so it's a basically a triple batch. Be oh boy. <laughs> because um, it calls for three pounds of chicken and I only used a pound of chicken. And so there's extra sauce that you, you know, would be soaked up if you had more chicken. But this way it coats it more and it'll be spicier for Axel anyway. Well, I'm talking about... So are you going to try a piece now and mm -hmm. let your fans know what it tastes like? Or are you going to wait and Actually, keep them on yeah, let's try. Let's try a piece out now. Okay, Is it going to be too hot? Well, it's pretty hot. Do you want a wing or a leg? Leg. You want a leg, okay. Well, okay, a wing. A wing. You can have a leg. No, a wing. All right. So, you want to bring it to him? Okay, you can bring it to Daddy. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, let's see All what right. he thinks. Oh. All right, guys, so. Careful, it's gonna be hot. It just came out. <gasps> well, let's just try the, the juice. Mm. It's actually really good. Really good. He probably prefer it a little bit spicier, but yeah. because I'm I don't like a lot of heat, I get a medium sauce. Do you guys see it? There it is. Alright. Oh my god. 
do this and make it delicious. Mm. So now be honest, is mm. it better than a truck stop mm -hmm. or mm -mm. worse because it's not deep fried? No, it's way better. This is way, way better than a truck stop. Yeah. You won't hurt my feelings, I promise. No. It's, it's delicious. It has a lot of flavor. Mm. You know he doesn't like That's true. One thing that the other ones, the truck stop, is that it used to make me sick. That is true. Every time you would eat it, you'd get sick. I'm not kidding. I would be calling her. I'm like, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> mm. Mm. How are you guys? Mm. Hope you guys were here. We could be having some hot ones. Mm. That is delicious, all right? Delicious. Man, I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm supposed to be looking at the... Yeah, that was delicious. Um, still got a little bit more. Right. Mm. It's so... Um, it's so tasty, all that flavor. Mm. You can taste a little bit of sweetness. All right. It's so delicious. Um, all right, so let's get more. So, and you can, and, and, and how she, she put it a little bit more extra time to get a little bit more toastier. And it does, I, I do taste, um, it's a little more cut crunchier, which that's yeah. kind of what I like. I like I like it for for it to be a little crunchier, and she did it. She put it more extra time, and it is more country cr crunchier. All right. So what's next? Action. Action. <laughs> I'm just gonna start packaging up his food, and I know some of you are probably cringing at my plasticware. Um, these are BPA free, and I am going to be looking into getting a glass, like glass containers. But it makes me nervous sending him with glass containers in his truck. He's kind of clumsy, um, but at least these are BPA free. So, okay, she's gonna put the chicken in this one. Okay. Oh. No, oh, don't do that. You're supposed to say yummy, baby. I hate chicken like this. Later. So one thing, Isabella is a vegetarian. Not really. Nah, she's, she's not a vegetarian, but she does not... Ooh. She's very picky on her food. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> she's more of a veggie girl. She loves veggies. So as healthy as we are, she... Um, you missed one. I did. Yeah. Oh. Or should I eat that? No. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Make your own. <laughs> I did make these. <laughs> Is Daddy kidding? What? I made them. No way, Jose. You make your own. Mm, I can't wait to go on the road. Look at that. Okay, let's do the salmon and then we're going to take a short break because I'm a neat freak in the kitchen, so I need right. to clean. And all I do is I just literally like pull the skin back and like I said some people actually will eat the skin I don't particularly like it and there we go that's the salmon delicious delicious thank you all right, guys, so um, let's talk about the salmon. The way I eat the salmon is actually with white, white rice and uh, and uh, what, what was it, Brussels? I can't you see. ate it with the Brussels sprouts, but a better, healthier choice instead of white rice would be a brown rice. Exactly, exactly. So I had I had some white rice out in the truck, so that's why I used the white rice. So now we got to go and get some brown rice. But any kind of ri actually rice is actually, you know... Yeah, uh, it's high in carbs, and we got to check uh, those carbs and all that. But, you know, and for, for most of you guys that are skinny and are pretty healthy, you, you know, you guys can eat it. But it's actually a healthier way, all right? So the more healthier you get, the older you get, you're, you'll, be, you'll be more healthier and not like me, all right? So 
What else do we? Overall, you're healthy. You know, you have to. Part of it is genetics too. You know, yeah. so you you have family history of high cholesterol or diabetes, and so those are some things that you have to watch out for already because you're just being in that family history of those problems. It puts you at higher risk. Yeah, it's called being a Mexican. <laughs> you know, we Mexicans are our cholesterol is like, you know, um, that's why we Mexicans are so healthy. You know. That's why I'm not <laughs> Yeah.